I'm totally fine with this. So you guys want to speculate about the sheer mental uh, gymnastics Guts trying to do with trying to justify that these are indeed illusions and not the real deal? Oh, hey, there's a brand. And usual uh, persona tradition, everything that the bad guys are saying because they're illusions is 100% true. Go figure. I've never actually played Persona that much. I've only watched the Persona 4 anime before. And played a little bit of P3P and that's it. <laughs> Love how Costa Ka stops putting up that much of a fight when, when it's cold outside. And again, kind of makes sense. Wait, is the place actually... What? Oh. I don't remember that part actually. Fuck. It was rubble the entire time, really? Guess that explains the low res polygon count? Question mark? I don't know. I'm I'm kinda just making the shit up as it go along. <laughs> it was an illusion the entire time. <laughs> Jado kidding. Puck's back, yay, I guess, even though it doesn't really make too much of a difference. Uh, what what's something in Berserk I could make a reference to that would me immediately make this like not too surprising? Well, I guess Flora's Mansion would be a good comparison since you know the forest was kind of enchanted so that it was very hard to get to her place. Is actually still here? Nah, more background. Than anything else? Okay, that's fine. God, this is awesome. Again, if you want to cheat to get yourself, like, all this XP so you can just get stuff, don't feel bad about it, really. I'm also going to say this game does have some level of frustration to it that is very self-evident of the rust of, like, a mid-2000s PS2 game. Don't get me wrong, a lot of, like, PS2 games aren't nearly as, like, rustic as, like, 90s games or anything like that. I mean, see most things from gaming in the Clinton years with how they just fucking... They joke about how they have to cheat in order to beat some games. I mean, I get it. And they like they had to make Chico's back then, so some people just get through the game, whatever. But this game still has a certain amount of jank to it that I'm like, eh, this could be a bit better. Whatever. Let's see, get through this. One shot, yay. One shot too. That, that doesn't even make sense, okay. <laughs> Rip Roni, hell yeah. I very much feel like Doom Slayer right now with the speed of Guts' swing. This is amazing. Also, always be sure to check the, the size of these levels for uh, Spriggans, for upgrades, and other free shit. Hell yeah. God, this is going to make some later boss fights so easy. Especially if rematches against bosses. Oh boy. Um, the DPS I'm going to get off of this now is, like, not even funny. It's awesome. Oh boy. Uh... Ship damage against them, why not? Some enemies you can also get the uh, brand up and running a lot sooner than others. Like, I think against some bosses, like you can do you can hit him with like knives or something and it'll immediately get you it, but I don't know. I, I don't really keep track of those too long. R1 plus L1 plus square? What the hell? Huh. R1 would be lock on, and L1 square would be crossbow. Interesting. Oh boy, this. Oh boy, this. Woo! Farnese and Serpico. This is a fun series of events. Also, it looks super nice at nine time. Goddamn. Right, so I have this working theory that I am thoroughly of the opinion that even with where I'm at, Farnese is easily one of the. like, the best developed characters in the series like yeah the, it's oh yeah these fucking events from uh that's not even close to what she was wearing at the tower of conviction but okay she goes from being a catholic a catholic knight who has a serious bdsm issue to uh having her world flipped upside down multiple times whatever her guts nearby to now being like okay i just want to seek out the truth down to season two, being like, yeah, can I go? Can I learn magic from uh, Shirake now? She goes through some war some stuff, <clears throat> and I absolutely respect that. 
And Serpico's is kind of a long to arrive, but Serpico is absolutely best boy, so you know, whatever. It's just kind of funny. I I'm actually kind of on the mindset that Serpico might be as smart as Griffith at, at his prime. You know, in, in his his prime when he was, you know, still alive and not a uh uh bat dick. That's just me. Okay. Um save yet? Nah. I usually, try, I usually try to save like after increasing my level, if I can help it, just so I don't forget. Uh hmm. Sure, why the hell not? I think that increases the amount of strikes you do when you when you're doing striking and you do strikes. Oh god, this level. This level kind of sucks, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I can save now. Oh, I'll just fast forward until we get to, get to the new level. My love for you is like a truck, Berserker. You fool. Do you want to make him Berserker? Oh, well, I mean, I guess it's probably explain this. When you're doing your main playthrough, you can go back and revisit visit any stage you've already completed. Um. Sprig and count for obviously how many you've gotten. I probably got six out of seven. Holy fuck. Oh, it might be counting the ones I've got in my prior game also. How the hell do I only have two of them here? That's weird. Anyway. Next up, fun fun level, kinda. Not really. Oh right, red spriggins. Um They allow you access to higher levels of power-ups. So, yeah. Oh, there we go. Uh, the, the fucking original sub voice for each door is so weird. That would be Serpico who did that one in it. Dude's just kind of a jack of all trades and really good as a warrior. Also, the fact that you just want food. <laughs> so, funny enough, I imagine that Serpico would have seen uh, uh, Puck first. Hey, I recognize these guys. They tried to kill me before. Especially you. I used to door Serpico. <laughs> Most of it is just straight up arm strength, these door. I'm sorry to say. You know, think about it on, on right now. This is actually really impressive. They got the same guy to just keep reprising the role. So that essentially means that they kind of sort of took the original sub actor and got him all the way to the end of the, uh, the Berserker armor. Kind of cool. And here it comes. We got some barriers to overcome in terms of her being a little bit useless, but you know what? Props to her, she is so much of a better female character than a lot of shonen woman I'm aware of. Oh god, Sakura. Because she's willing to be humble and improve. <laughs> Serpico's fucking face, though. Also, for my money, she looks way better with the short hair than the weird ass double buns. <laughs> fucking guts. Pretty sure this game does give the reason for why he just accepted them. Yep, no more good nights of sleep for you anymore. It's funny though, because um, Isidora has no idea why he's actually being haunted for... Yeah, that's kind of the reason why I just brought him along, because someone needs to kid. He can't... He feels bad in terms of having to, like... Or no, he feels afraid of just taking care of Kasuga by himself because there was that little stint with those like marauders Costco walked up to and almost got raped again and ended up mauling everyone because I don't know what the hell happened in that scene. And then Guts saves her and almost mauls her, her, her too. Yeah, uh, Guts has some very 
uh, pent up personal issues he needs to deal with. Uh, un unfortunate thirst for blood he's developed in two years of fighting. Hence the Beast of Darkness, hence why he is okay with them tagging along to help him keep Casca in check and for him to keep be in check. Now this level. Fuck this level. Oh yeah, that's right. So later on, you do when you get the magical weapons for uh, Isidoro and everyone else, you do get them for a uh, little like uh, assists as well, like uh, guts except or pockets that they actually do attacks. This level's a fucking nightmare, by the way. So yeah, it's got some branching paths. Guess what? You have to navigate all of that. Fuck me. Now, first of all, we do have a bunch of new enemies here since it's no longer winter, no, no more snowmen. Thank God. Snowmen were a little bit much to deal with sometimes, not gonna lie. So, in terms of this, um, actually, I'm gonna turn down my volume a bit once again. So, mostly it's just mercen like dead mercenary knights now. Um,. I'm not sure if these are implied to be anyone in, in particular, maybe just like Midland Knights that just got destroyed in some battle at some point, which I could totally uh, understand. Everyone gets possessed, and anyone who ends up dead in the series doesn't stay dead for long, to quote, uh, Dead Space. So yeah, I just, I just, <laughs> I just managed to compare uh, Berserk to Dead Space. I'm actually kind of proud of that fact. Now then, to... That fucking area. Uh, I already did end up getting the mm, some of the what the hell are they? The spring is in this level. Also, beware of the these archers. Oh god, they can, they're smart enough to use them. Not the worst thing, but they're the constant hit stun combined with the swarms of numbers. Yeah, it's a little. This is where some people start getting into the mindset that this game is bad because of the constant hit stun you can end up in. And yeah, I won't deny that the hit stun you can end up in, for thanks to like projectiles and dogpilings from enemies, it can suck. Yeah, but the important thing also is that you you can get like you have frame one moves pretty much like pretty much as like as soon as you press the arm cannon button, you are doing the arm cannon. I think roughly the same thing for like the bombs and shit like that. So you certainly have options, but I will definitely say it can be a little rough sometimes in terms of. Like, uh, avoiding being in that, like, so, like, just 12 years of hit stun from enemies. One of the reasons why I really recommend leveling up your endurance, too. Actually, in terms of that, um, let's see. First things I recommend you level up, if you can help it, is, uh, actually, arm can't, your, your crossbow is, is cheap enough and it's good enough that I recommend doing that. Health is good, um... Sword speed just take it's expensive as hell, but it is such a crucial power up. Like you're seeing, if you saw the beginning of this game, that was like the beginning of this let's play. That was me at level two of speed, and this is me at level three. I am basically playing a Dynasty Warriors game now. It's fantastic. Yes, I'm coming over here to make sure I cover bases for any spriggans, you know, etc., etc. This is really good. Like with my sword swinging now, I am basically just just playing as Berserker Armor Guts. It's minus like the, oh god, I'm gonna be doing so much damage to Grunbelt. <laughs> oh god. Yes, this game does have the fight between uh, Berserker Armor Guts and Grunbelt. I think it's kind of inaccurate to say just Berserker Armor Guts, because Guts can have the Berserker Armor without, you know, the the uh, Beast of Darkness activated with it, hence the Berserker mode. So let's just call it uh, Berserker Guts versus Grunbelt, because yeah, it's uh, a little bit more accurate. So yeah, that fight is in this game, and considering the amount of d hits I do now, oh god. <laughs> Grumbo's in for a bad time. He is in for a very bad time. I will briefly spoil something for you guys, though. Grumbo is not the final fight in this game. I know, I know. How the hell are you going to keep going? Why? How would you have anything beyond, like, Guts fighting uh, Grumbo in the Berserker armor? What, what could you possibly go beyond that? Could it possibly be something involving Griffith? Well, no. But there is something involving Griffith in this game. That is not out of the question. I'm not going to spoil it. It's not Femto. It's not Femto, unfortunately. 
I know everyone creams their pants at the idea of Berserk Armor Guts fighting uh, Femto. I really don't think Guts could fight Femto even if he did have it because, you know, gravity powers, you know, kind of bullshit. Look at the time that Gut, uh, Griffith effortlessly just, like, d uh, pushed away, like, a whole volley of arrows and blocking a cannonball blast from Guts. So, yeah, it's, it's not really happening too much. I don't know. I could speculate about what the end game for, like, Berserk would be like. But I'm also going to mention something I think I mentioned before. I don't know. I don't know why I'm fighting these guys. I, I just need to go past them. I'm sincerely hoping that... Well, actually, no. I can talk about this fully now. Because I don't think I talked about this too much in the, in the last Let's Play. I first mentioned... Yeah, she's in the room. I, could, I first mentioned this to Taylor like a little while ago while I was still reading Berserk, and I was like, I was realizing that I had been reading the manga for like a month straight, like a whole volume per day, and I still, I was only just done with the fucking, um, the Golden Age arc. I, it hit me at that point that I had gone through like 15, 20 years already of work from Kentaro Miura at that point for Berserk, and that's what hit me. One... I really, I'm so, well, it really occurred to me that there's some stories that are just too big to be told in the medium of, like, manga. I think my, my first example was, like, or the, the example that came to mind for me was, um, imagine if you were to try to take Lord of the Rings, like, the whole, Cerulean? Is that what it's called? I don't know, I don't know. Cimmerillion? Okay, thank you. Taylor's in the background, so he's trying to sleep. Um, if you're trying to take the whole Cimmerillion with all the events that happen and then try to do it in like, not even like a weekly like manga, like a semi-weekly manga. And you have to draw every single action that goes on. That is essentially what happened, like is what's going on with Kentaro with Berserk. Like it's too big of a project. Like there's a reason why, if you, if you want the, the perspective for it, um, Casca first became retarded slash a potato, whichever one term you want to use, in like 97. And she just became normal again last year in 2019. Yeah. It, um, it took 22 years for Casca to be returned to normal. Fuck me. And it's only now looking like Guts is actually going to be brought on by Skull Knight to go maybe fight Gri uh, Griffith, maybe. That's kind of very much up in the air. All those are confirmed. Berserk is on another hiatus. Fuck me running. This series is never going to end. I am legit. There's reports that Kentaro is also going blind, so that's not very good. <laughs> Lol. Oh, he's Doro. So, between like ailing health, uh, longer and longer hiatuses, whether or not he's always doing work, like that's. No one really knows. There's obviously the joke that he was always playing Isle Master, but like he also does other stuff too. I don't know. I do like the meme that the, the idea that he's just always playing Isle Master. That it <laughs> something that uh, that unintentionally t ties my interest with, with Brandon's interest is always fucking funny to me, especially with, with Berserk. Um, but no. Um, I'm legit concerned that can, that Miura is not going to be able to complete Berserk within his lifetime because of how much there is still left to go. How many loose ends, you know, like with the God Hand, the Origin of the God Hand, the rest of the stuff involving um, Skull Knight, um, Ge uh, Geyseric, all this stuff. It's like, I really don't know if he has the, the lifetime left in order to finish his story. I, I get that feeling sometimes with uh, One Piece, all the recent years has had Oda really speeding up his production process for the series so there's hope for that yet even if his health is also not doing great <laughs> really the, the I think the overall idea is if you want to make money but you also don't want to live a healthy lifestyle just be a manga <laughs> because oh my god there is like nothing I've never heard stories about someone having a healthy lifestyle while being a manga maybe besides Kishimoto but even that was questionable he had a really tight schedule as well Oh yeah, I forgot to talk about the game for a while. We're doing a we're doing a gauntlet run against zombies. Fuck. At least it's something to do. And I, I'm like talking my ass off, and I'm still just mauling these motherfuckers. Oh, this is great. Hmm. 
Yeah, this, this level 3 sword swinging is amazing. Actually, I should try... Whoa! I What the hell I just do? That didn't really increase anything, though. Maybe increase, like, damage? Boom, 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 boom. Maybe I actually need to be pro probably locked onto someone. I don't know. But I just do, do like, that weird-ass, like, flip. I have no idea how I did that. Oh, yeah! If you press, like, different directions while you're strafing or something, you can do, like, different attacks, sort of, but, eh. I don't know why you need much more than the regular attack, since, you know, bosses, typically, but, yeah. Uh, let's heal just to be sure. I, tri I typically try to time it, so that way, like, Puck is always charging, and I'm just maximizing, like, my health overall. Typically. Um... Mob battles are actually really well done in this game, like, just... Again, I, I don't want to keep singing the praises too much, but Yuke really did a good job improving the gameplay in this game over uh, the Dreamcast game, because the Dreamcast game has so many issues with it. I'd be lying if I said I enjoyed that game to, uh, to a good capacity, outside presentation. But no, they, th this is actually kind of fun. Like, swinging, swinging the sword everywhere and just mauling people, uh, especially the one-shots is really good. There will be issues later, though, with certain enemies that kind of becomes a why would you do this kind of category. But I'm pretty well comfortable, hell yeah. <laughs>